Happy Saturday afternoon to you. I'm Fox 26 meteorologist Ramisha Shade. It's time for your tropical update. I want to let you know what's happening out there in the tropics and if we have any new action or any systems that we are anticipating to develop. The good news for the Atlantic, all is still quiet. In fact, no tropical cyclone formation expected in all of the Atlantic for at least the next seven days. So this is great news. We kind of had an active start to the hurricane season for the first few weeks of June. We've already had three named storms since then, but right now things are pretty quiet. Also very quiet in the Gulf of Mexico and quiet as well in the Caribbean. Let's move over to the Eastern Pacific because all is not quiet here. We've got two systems in the red and when you see that red, that means a high chance for tropical cyclone development. So we've got not one, but two systems very close to the southern and southwestern Mexican coast. And both of these systems have a high chance for development. This particular system, which is a little bit closer to the southern Mexican coast, has a high chance for development over the next seven days, just a low 20% shot for development over the next two days. So we'll watch for some long-term development potentially for that one. It could still become a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next week. But this is the system that we are really monitoring even closer because it has a 90% chance to become a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next 48 hours and a really high chance over the next week if it doesn't happen over the next 48 hours. So definitely there's a potential for this to become a depression or even a named storm by tonight or by Sunday because it is getting its act together. It is getting more symmetrical, more well-defined, but the good news is that both of these systems are basically tracking to the west northwest. So even if it develops, it's pushing away from the Mexican coast, it's moving away from the U.S., and I don't anticipate it to cause any problems for us. As I mentioned, the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean and the uh, western portion of the Atlantic, very quiet, but you can see some of that Saharan dust out there and that continues to kind of mix in some drier air in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So that is kind of hindering the shot for development. You can see more of that dust really covering much of the central and eastern portions of the Atlantic, extending all the way back towards the Lesser Antilles. This dust is basically pushing off of that western African coast. So overall, it is going to kind of act as a hindrance for these tropical systems to develop. But on the other hand, even though we have that dust, we have extremely warm water temperatures out there well into the 80s. In fact, close to record warmth for the sea surface temps out across much of the Atlantic. Those temperatures well into the 80s and many parts of the Atlantic, especially eastern sections of the Atlantic, those water temps four to six degrees above normal. You can see that on this map. Look at all of that warm water with those temperatures above where they normally are for this time of the year. So if we can get rid of the dust, we definitely have the warmth in that water to support more tropical development. So for that reason, the Colorado State University forecasters a few days ago on July 6 did yet another update to the hurricane season outlook, increasing that number of named storms, increasing the number of hurricanes expected and increasing the number of major hurricanes anticipated for this season. So we're now up to 18 named storms, likely nine hurricanes and four major hurricanes due to the fact that those sea surface temperatures in the tropical Atlantic are now at record warm levels. We also have the El Nino pattern setting up, which usually would decrease the number of storms and make it a less active season, but that El Nino hasn't really gotten very strong yet. We're not exactly sure exactly how strong it's going to get. So for now, it looks like it will likely be a busy August and a busy September with above normal named storms, hurricanes, and major hurricanes now expected for the area. So we've already had Arlene, Brett, and Cindy in the Atlantic Basin. The next name on the list would be Don. Then we'd have Emily, Franklin, and Gert. And you see the rest of the names here just in case things get busy. We've got the names for those storms, but we're hoping things don't get busy and we stay quiet, similar to last season for Southeast Texas. But of course, if anything is popping up or getting close to us, we will warn you, you'll be the first to know. Hurricane season, of course, runs through the end of November. We're still kind of in the quiet time, typically the first month or two. But as we get into August and September, you see that spike there, the absolute peak around September 10th. 
Usually the majority of our tropical systems occur in August or September. So that is the time frame where we are expecting things to really get active and really get going. So while things are quiet, make sure you have your hurricane plan in place for you and your family. Make sure you review your insurance coverage and make sure you have everything you want and need, hopefully. And also you can review your evacuation plans if you live in an evacuation zone. So you won't have to scramble to do those things in case we do have a tropical storm or hurricane heading our way later in the season. For now though, all is quiet for Southeast Texas and the Houston area, but still, we want you to download our Fox 26 weather app to get the latest tropical weather, our forecast cones, any tropical watches or warnings. And of course, local radar and your local forecast can be found there as well. Lots to do and see with our Fox 26 weather app. So we want you to head to the app store. You can search for it by looking for Fox 26 and it should pop up and you can get that downloaded on your phone. All right, that's all I have for you. Enjoy the rest of your Saturday. Have a great evening.